everybody, it's Tiffany here, and I am super excited to share something brand new that we're offering as part of our Scrap Gals podcast subscriber bonus content. They're story snark cards. <laughs> and, you know, I'm the snarky Scrap Gal, so it kind of makes sense that I'm the one introducing these and sharing these with you. These cards are lots of fun, but you might be wondering how would you use them in your scrapbooking? So I thought I would share with you some of the ideas I have for how I'm going to use them. I absolutely love this card with the disco ball that says ready to get my groove on, unless I change my mind. And I would probably use this sometime where I was really excited that I ended up with canceled plans. You know, those are the best plans, right? I also think it would be fun to use in my dating album as I'm telling some stories about meeting various fellas. And I think it would be fun to use if you were going to maybe go to something where you were dancing, like a high school reunion or a wedding or even just a date night out with your fella. This next one is probably my favorite card of the entire month. Sweet, sassy, and a little smart assy. This one is autobiographical, just in case you didn't know that. And <laughs> I think it would be really fun to do with some sort of layout about who you are right now in your life, kind of a description of your personality or a currently page. But you could also do this for one of your best friends or a sister or cousin, or even to describe your own children as they get a little bit bigger. I know this one would work for my daughter too. This next card, Just Living My Truth, I absolutely love that it's on the diagonal and it has a little bit of a grungy look to it. And I think it would work for all kinds of pages too. Maybe it's where you tell the real story about something that happened instead of, you know, making it all seem like rainbows and unicorns. <laughs> Maybe it's where you admit to something that is like one of your faults or a habit you're trying to break or something you're trying to improve about yourself. I also think it would work if you had to, you know, like have a meeting with somebody because their behavior wasn't, you know, exactly what you wanted. Uh, it's all about being honest and coming out with what your truth is and living it without, you know, without shame or embarrassment. This one, I don't require your approval. Doesn't that sound super teachery? <laughs> but it's one of those that it's something that I actually say, and I, I think it a lot more than I say it. I think it would work maybe if you were talking about living up to your family's expectations or if you have a frenemy, like I'm probably not the only one who has frenemies, right? But I think that could be a good one for that particular card. Or what about even, you know, if you decide to do something that's maybe a little bit scandalous, I don't know, maybe you're wearing navy and black together, or maybe you're wearing white after Labor Day, but whatever, the idea is that you're living life by your own rules, and that's why you would want to use that card. It's better to ask for forgiveness than permission is along that same line, and I would probably use this one at work, if I'm being totally honest. It's the kind of thing where, you know, maybe I know it's not exactly something that my administration would want, but I'm going to see if I can get away with it anyway. <laughs> or maybe it has to do with, I, I don't know, maybe I don't enforce a rule that I disagree with, like I let kids eat breakfast in my room, you know, don't tell anybody. Um, <laughs> but it's any of those kinds of situations where you're just going to go with what you think is best. And if somebody gets upset with you, well, then you're just going to say, I'm so sorry, would you forgive me? And then that leads us to the last card. Only apologize when you really mean it. I'm probably not very good at apologies, if I'm being totally honest. But when I do apologize, I always mean it. And, and I think that that's important. I think sincerity really matters. So maybe this would be a good way to show when you did apologize for something or when you're teaching your kids a lesson about what apologies mean and how important sincerity is. Or, or maybe it's something where you recall a time in your life when you should have apologized and you didn't, or when you did apologize and you didn't mean it. All of those would make great stories for that card. 
So we're gonna have a new set of these for you every month. Just another reason you need to be subscribing to the podcast. And I hope that you guys will print them out and actually use them in your scrapbooking. In fact, I would love for you to share in the comments here that we're posting in the group, I would love for you to share how you might use these in your documenting and maybe which card is your favorite and why. That would be so fun. I'm really excited to see how you guys might use these. And if you're on Instagram, I hope that you'll hashtag us with Scrap Gals Story Snark. Learn more about a Scrap Gals subscription and what it includes at thescrapgals.com.